It's not necessarily strange for streamers to take a break every now and then, but Ninja's latest stream and break has fans freaking out. On September 1st, Ninja announced that he was live on Twitch. Posting a link along with an anonymous message, big things are coming. The stream started normally enough. Ninja played some Fortnite, chatted with fans, and proceeded as if nothing was wrong. But after becoming increasingly frustrated with his Fortnite matches, Ninja made the move to rage quit saying, I've had enough man, I'm leaving, I'm done. In fact, honestly dude, I'm gonna take a break from streaming dude. I'm done. <laughs> he then turned to his chat, telling his fans that while he didn't know when he was going to be next live, he had to quit the current game he was playing for his own well-being. Then, Ninja logged off abruptly. While taking breaks from the online world is quite a common practice among streamers, Ninja's abrupt leave from Twitch did spark a lot of questions about his well-being. Mental health problems are quite common, and not just in the streaming world, but outside of it too. Many influencers, celebrities, and streamers have come forward in the past, announcing that they're taking a break from social media for their own good. Hello and welcome to All Patch Notes. Today we are going to be taking a look at the famous Fortnite Twitch streamer Tyler Ninja Blevins. What happened to him? Why is he taking a break? And is he planning to retire from his very successful career in content creation? All this and more will be answered in today's video. So let's start with the most obvious question. What happened after Ninja ended his stream on September 1st? Well, shortly after logging off of Twitch, Ninja made his way to Twitter where he posted a stark message. I just need a break. I don't know when I'll be back or where. Some fans thought that Ninja might be overreacting, but acknowledged that mental health is important and shouldn't be ignored. Others thought that the entire incident was pre-planned to drum up excitement for a potential move to a new streaming platform. While the specifics of Ninja's current contract and YouTube's potential interest aren't clear, the timing would make sense. To add to the speculation, Ninja had recently tweeted that he had scheduled a call with YouTube and it fell through. While he didn't specify what the call was about at the time, some fans think that the meeting was related to a potential platform change. Change. The streamer has since removed his profile picture from his Twitter and Twitch account, changing his display name on Twitter to user not found. Ninja hasn't offered any explanation for this change, and fans might be left waiting for the streamer to update them on when he'll be streaming next. Interestingly enough, Twitter user and streamer reporter Zach Bussey also noted that Ninja is no longer listed as a Twitch partner. This coincidental reveal, coupled with the altered Twitter handle, missing profile photo, and new Twitter banner, all signs point to a supposition that Ninja could simply be headed towards a reboot of sorts. And this could be his big reveal. Despite all of this, it's important to mention that this isn't the first time, and probably won't be the last time either, when Ninja had switched platforms. As Dextertoe.com pointed out, there have been some recent signs Ninja is no longer as settled into streaming as he once was. He only broadcasted 6 times in the past 14 days, which, don't get us wrong, is pretty frequent, but still way less than time compared to say, the 3,800 hours he spent streaming in 2018, which is the equivalent of 95 40 hour weeks. His most recent stream, held on September 1st, ended early with a visibly frustrated ninja saying, can't do it anymore dude, can't, I've had enough of this, I'm leaving, I'm done. I can't even, I'm not even, I'm, I'm leaving. No way. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> even with everything that had happened, and Ninja taking a break from all social media and streaming, a lot of fans seem to believe that he was just merely changing platforms, since he is no longer bound by contract with Twitch. Making the move from Twitch to YouTube is a well-worn path. Ninja hasn't tweeted since his vague message that he'd be taking a break, nor has his wife Jessica Blevins. Though Jessica Blevins made the decision to resign as Ninja's manager. She still often tweets about his games and events though. However, the entire Ninja camp has been silent on the issue. Well they had been signed up for about a week. On September 8, 2022, Ninja announced his plans to stream on Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, making the streamer the only massive creator to take on a multi-platform streaming challenge. Ninja posted a surprise announcement on Twitter. He stated, I'm going to be live everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Patreon, maybe OnlyFans. <laughs> Additionally, the streamer unveiled that he would be live everywhere on the 9th of September 2022 at 12 CST. Despite multiple big time content creators moving to YouTube gaming exclusively, Ninja's decision isn't involving any long term standing contracts, but an attempt to conquer the gaming content creation scene across the internet. Some say his initial setup for the reveal, albeit it did capture the attention of millions, was in poor taste, and that the poorly acted mental health crisis thing was stupid and unnecessary. Although it is major news for Ninja, the way he completely went off the grid after having a meltdown seemed a bit worrying. Knowing it most likely was part of the streamer's market, 
marketing plan for the news reveal, it doesn't look too good for the content creator. Despite the poor marketing plan, it's still massive news nonetheless. But will Ninja's streaming plan prove successful? Only time will tell if the streamer can handle the heat of broadcasting himself everywhere, or if his decision pays its worth in the long run. Clearly, Ninja isn't relying on a bumper streaming contract with any one platform for his income. His status as one of the top streamers should allow him to grow audiences across all platforms. One of the challenges with this will be interacting with viewers across lots of platforms, but it's obviously a challenge he's willing to take on. Ninja would be a valuable asset to any live streaming platform, as even though he may not be at his peak as he was in 2018, he is still comfortably pulling in 10,000 concurrent viewers at any time. Although this can depend heavily on which game he's playing. Ninja initially began streaming through participating in several esports teams in competitive play for Halo 3, and gradually picked up fame when he first started playing Fortnite in 2017. His rise among mainstream media began in March 2018, when he played Fortnite together with Drake, Travis Scott, and Juju Smith-Schuster on stream, breaking a peak viewer count record on Twitch. In April 2018, he broke his own viewing record during his event Ninja Vegas 2018, where he accumulated an audience of about 667,000 live viewers. From there onwards, Ninja would end up doing all sorts of partnerships, from Red Bull, his short stint with Mixer, making his own Adidas shoes, and even starring in an NFL Super Bowl ad. Ninja's rise in popularity on Twitch is considered to be synergistically tied to the success of Fortnite. In December 2018, he estimated that he made close to $10 million in 2018, while Epic Games reported that they had earned over $3 billion in revenue in that year, primarily due to Fortnite. He became the first PC player to surpass 5,000 Fortnite wins that same month. To acknowledge Ninja's importance to Fortnite's success, Epic added a Ninja-based cosmetic skin to the game in January 2020 as the first part of the Icon series for other real-life personalities associated with Fortnite. In addition to a very large number of subscribers on Twitch and Mixer, Ninja has also amassed over 24 million subscribers on YouTube as of April 2021. At the time, he was earning over $500,000 per month from streaming Fortnite and credits the game's free-to-play business model as a growth factor. On September 10th, 2020, after a year on the Mixer platform, Ninja revealed that he would return to streaming on Twitch after signing an exclusive multi-year deal and streamed on the platform that same day. At the moment, Ninja has over 18 million followers on his Twitch channel, making it the most followed Twitch channel as of July 2022. Wherever he goes, his loyal fans follow. While his short break from Twitch has been criticized by some as bad marketing schemes, it did help propel him even further when he made the announcement that he will stream everywhere starting on September 9th. So, to answer your question that's in everybody's mind right now, no, Tyler Ninja Blevins is not done with streaming yet. Nor does it seem that his career will be dying anytime soon. With so many platforms to stream on, he might find it hard to keep up, but he has millions of followers who will, for sure, be patient with him. And that's all we have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section below what exactly you think about Ninja's short break. And if you want more of this type of content, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you're notified every time we post a new video. Or we will catch you.